You know, you're treating me like a prisoner. All I said, Dee, was that you were never, ever again to go upstairs and inject yourself into Tom and Faith's I life. I thought you weren't going to tell me what to do anymore. No, I said that I wouldn't allow you to become dependent on me. But I am not being directive. I am not telling you how to live your life. Yes, you are. Delia, I am simply putting down some ground rules for your deportment while you're living under this roof. Of course, you can reject my rules if you want, but then you'll have to find somewhere else to go. Roger, where am I supposed to go now? Do you realize I'm a charity case and you're bullying me? Now, you're being mean to me. You know, this is a big act with you. You know, you say you're being nice to me and you say that you care about me. I do. No, you don't care about me or else you wouldn't be saying all these things to me. So would you just stop it, please? <sighs> Celia, will you stop ranting and just think for a moment? Now, why did you go upstairs in the first place? Because I was lonely and you left me nothing to do here. Roger, that's true. Delia, aside from the fact that it is not my responsibility to entertain you, would you get bored? Uh, you decided to go upstairs and visit your good friend, Faith? No, no, I knew Faith wasn't there. Then you decided to visit uh, Tom. Look, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, look, this is going to sound very silly, but I guess I just kind of wanted to wander through those uh, big fancy rooms. I haven't done that since I was little. Look, I, I just wanted to see... I don't, I don't know. You wanted to see what? I wanted to see the way that Faith lives. Okay, so would you stop asking me these stupid questions? Delia, why should you want to see the way that Faith lives? Because Patty loves her, okay? Is that what you told Tom? Yeah, it's true, isn't it? Pat loves Faith, and she loves him. Delia, Faith is married to Tom. Now, that is the reality. You've, you've even admitted yourself that she's not pursuing Pat. Look, I didn't say anything that was wrong. Faith just couldn't wait to come, uh, come down here and complain to you, right? Delia, don't you understand what you did and why Faith reacted the way that she did? Honey, you are so obsessed with, with Pat and Faith that, that that obsession runs your life. It tells you what to do, where to go, how to think. Now, yesterday, you went to the Ryans after you promised me that you wouldn't. Then you came back here. You went upstairs and caused difficulty with Faith's husband. Now, I would think that you would want to understand why. I don't know why. I had to. Delia, what did you expect to find? A, a, a way of life, a, a way to be, so Pat would come back to you? Maybe. Delia, your marriage to Pat is over. Your relationship with this family is over. It's a thing of the past. You have no future with the Ryans. Delia, you have to let them go. If I do, what's going to happen to me? I uh, kind of expected the place to be deserted. Oh, well, um, Finale's out at the ballpark, Ryan's conked out in the next room. <laughs> Eventually, we'll all get together and go home. They were so excited when they left. Oh, I wish I could have seen their faces, but I got tied up. Mm. Ma didn't mind. She was glad you called, though. Mm. <laughs> Frank, they looked like honeymooners. <laughs> <laughs> Seven glorious, sun-filled days and six moonlit nights. Mm. 
What if, what if they come back and tell us it was cloudy? Do we get a refund? <laughs> it was a wonderful present, wasn't it? Yeah, the best. I'm sorry I sounded off at you about Jill at Ryan's party. I'm sorry I had to uninvite your guests. I still don't think you had to. <laughs> but you were right. You had cleared it with me. I did okay the press coverage. I knew you told Jill not to come. I shouldn't have yelled at you in front of Ma and Jack. And, and I had no right to interfere with your private life. That's true enough. I'm still scared to death for you. I'll tell you, Mary, you don't leave anybody wondering what it is you're thinking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't start up again. Good. Because I have come here to avoid the issue. I'm staying till I'm sure that Jill is asleep, so I won't have to hear any more about it. Oh, wait a minute. You, you told me she understood. Yeah, well, lately Jill says one thing and then does another. So, she was hurt. I knew she had to be. She didn't have to be, Mary. She chose to be. Now, she goes on and on about understanding the demands of a campaign, but the minute the going gets a little rough, what does she do? Now, she agreed that I could never afford to pass up network news coverage, no matter how or where it turned up. And she also agreed that her presence at that party with Edmund would, would have been awkward, to say the least. It is perfectly possible to understand something with your mind and not to be able to control the way you feel about it. Which gives her license to invite Seneca over to cry on his shoulder? Seneca? Look, uh, I don't even want to know what happened. I, I said I'd stay out of your private life, but... If both of you are mad and you don't air things out... Look, I have been through it once. I am in no shape for round two. Mary, I have been working harder than I ever have in my entire life. Now, there are plenty of people who don't want to see me elected to the Senate, and I have to do battle with them. I don't have the energy to spare to be fighting with the people that I love and who are supposed to love me. I don't want to fight with you, but when I see you sneaking home late in order to avoid a confrontation with Jill, it makes me mad. There's nothing I can do about that. That's the way it is going to be. Frank, a problem doesn't go away just because you refuse to face it. Maeve Colleary Ryan, 1961, 1962, <laughs> 1963, etc. She's et right. Not tonight, Mary. Tomorrow, maybe, but not tonight. What would happen to you if you left the Ryans is what this is all about, Dee. When you can become independent, a grown person, uh, responsible to yourself. You know, that's exactly what Dr. Pagano keeps on saying to me. And that's really awful. I mean, I'm, why, why should I do that? Because it'll open up a whole new world for you, Delia. Look, you've spent most of your adult life clinging to a, a childhood memory. A, a memory of lo love and, and safety and warmth with the Ryans. Now, I can understand why you did that. You can? Of course. And I can also sympathize with a little girl who needed that. But a grown woman doesn't need to, to live her life pursuing a fantasy. See, I always felt like the Ryans were mine. And I felt like I wanted to keep them. So I lied, and that didn't work, and now the Ryans are gone. Did you hear what you just said? The Ryans are gone. Look, Roger, I don't think I can handle being alone. I think I need help, and I think I need a friend. Delia, I am your friend, and I will help you as best I can. Maybe you could tell me what to do. No, Delia, the best way for me to help you is not to tell you what to do. Well, then how am I supposed to know, then? How did you know in the past? Uh, well, I've always done what I felt, um... People wanted me to be. I guess I pretended. You pretended? Yeah. I tried to become the person that I felt people would like. That must have been very tiring, Dee. Yeah, I didn't know what else to do. But 
Delia, your understanding that is, is clearly a big step. Now, now, the variable is what you do with it. Uh, uh, how do you mean? Look, Delia, I am not going to let you uh, trap me into doing your thinking for you. What, what are your choices as you see them? I mean, what would I like to do? I feel like I would like to scream, I would like to holler, I would like to bang the door down until they let me in. <sighs> Delia, do you think they would? Look, you are capable of making your own decisions. How you proceed is, is up to you. It's up to me. What choice do I have? Patty doesn't want me anymore. The Ryans hate me. But Delia, I don't think the benevolent Ryans are capable of hating you. Look, they have washed their hands of you. Oh, boy, do I know that. You believe that? And that the annulment will proceed whether you want it to or not. That's what Maeve says. <sighs> then it must be so. So you're saying that um, I should give them up? No. Um, you're actually saying that I should go over there and I should tell Patty. That is what you think I should do, isn't it? Should you? No, you do think I should do that, don't you? I should go over there and I should tell Pat I'm not going to fight this. He could have his annulment. I'm my own person now. I can't. Roger, I don't think I can do that. I can't do that. Just tell me what to do. Delia, you are doing very well right now. No, I'm not. I'm doing terribly. But it's only the first part. Okay. Uh, I'll go over there. Uh, look, would you do me a favor and, and walk there with me? Delia, it's a warm summer's night, and I think you know the way. I think you can manage on your own. No. I don't have the strength. I don't have the strength. Delia, I think you'll find the strength if you look inside of yourself. You know, when I look inside myself, I don't see anything. I see nothing. It's black. Delia, I have always believed that there are a lot of beautiful things inside of you. Look, if, if you don't feel anything right now, why don't you act as if you do? Act as if... Wait a minute, you mean, you mean pretend? In, in a way, yes. Pretend that, that you're strong and, and willing to let them go. Oh, no. Now you're saying I should be dishonest. No, I... Delia, in the past, when you thought Patty wanted you helpless and, and, and alone, you behaved that way until it came true. So I, I don't see that there's any harm if you do the reverse as long as you're honest about it to yourself. I think I understand. I mean, I'm not sure, but I, I think I do. Okay, I'll do it. Um, are you gonna be here when I get back? Of course. Okay, see you later. Good luck to you. Greg Barenton, the happy couple. This one's slash longer. Oh. I'm sorry. So am I. Mainly I'm worried about you both and Edmund. It's an almost impossible situation. Well, the difficult we do quickly. The impossible takes a little longer. Francis Xavier Ryan, 1971, 1972, etc. <laughs> All right. I will stop being negative and concentrate on a positive fantasy. You will win by a landslide. Oh. The very next day, the annulment will come through from the chancery. Oh. You and Jill will be married by Father McShane. Oh. With all of us standing by out of our minds with happiness for you both. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Mm. 
You think Ryan's too young to be a flower girl? Well, you can push her down the aisle in her stroll. Mm. <laughs> She'll probably eat the rose petals. <laughs> <laughs> hello, you hey, too, buddy. Uh, hello, honey. How do you feel? Fine. I'm real good. So, how come I get the feeling you're lying through your teeth? Because I am, but I don't want to talk about it, okay? I knew it. Mary Ryan strikes again. Have you ever noticed the only flaw about our otherwise flawless sister? She is always sure she is absolutely right about everything. Yeah. Well, I've noticed. I am. I can see where it might appear to be a flaw if I weren't actually right, but since I am... And her certainty I'm... is matched only by her modesty. You know, you ought to be the one who's running for office. <laughs> oh, great. I can see the headlines now. Frank Ryan trounced by sister. Mm -hmm. Oh, now, who is that? Probably another reporter. Did you get the feeling you're being followed? Mm -hmm. Hi. Can I come in? Next, see who's clawing their way to the top on the young... I'm not going to stay that long. Hi. Hello, Delia. Dee, how are you feeling? I'm feeling a lot better. Ah, uh, you know I've been going to see Dr. Pagano almost every day. I'm glad to hear that. I hope he's helping you. Yeah, I'm not so confused sometimes. Um, sometimes I am, though. Uh, any news from Maeve and Johnny yet? Well, they're probably still traveling. The actual cruise doesn't start until tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, f I forgot. L uh, look, I have to tell you that was a really nice thing that you did. I know you probably don't believe that I'm saying that, but it's true because I feel that they really deserve it. The unfortunate thing is, is that um, I wanted to talk to them. I guess most of what I have to say is to you. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should wait till Maeve and Johnny come back. We'll give them your message, Dee. Look, Mary, don't make this any harder for me than it already is, okay? Because it's very hard. What is? Dee, Mary. Dee, if you have something to say... Say it. And then go. That's what I plan to do. I just have to come up with the right words. Uh, Patty, maybe I should talk to you alone. It's so strange to see the three of you are just lined up in a formation. <sighs> okay, uh, what I want to say is that I'm sorry. I know you've heard that before, and I've said that I'm sorry, and then I've gone and I've caused a lot of trouble. Now, I know I did a lot of bad things, but I had some very uh, important reasons. And I know I've lied, and I've caused a lot of trouble. But you have to believe me. I had to. And the more I lie, the more I felt I had to lie. <sighs> See, I, I really...